The voice of the ancient bard. Youth of delight, come hither and see the opening morn. Image of truth, newborn. Doubt is fled and clouds of reason. Dark disputes and awful teasing. Folly is an endless maze. Tangled roots perplex her ways. How many have fallen there? They stumble all night over bones of the dead and feel they know not what but care and wish to lead others when they should be led. This poem originally was in Innocence, um, but now has been moved to experience, so he kept kind of deciding what place. Now, let's remember a few things, quite a confusing poem here. Um, the bard was being spoken of in the introduction, and perhaps this is why he's put it at the very end of the Songs of Experience. Um, we've got um, the voice of the bard speaking, so the voice of the ancient poet speaking. Um, remember, this was a poet in the introduction who's been called upon by um, the Holy Word, by Jesus to rescue earth from destruction. Uh, so it's worth listening to what he said, youth of delight come forward, come come to this place and see the opening morn. You know, we can see uh, a new truth is being born and perhaps he's addressing, you know, what he's trying to say with these poems. These poems are promoting a new truth, okay? They're trying to um, show us a new way of thinking. Um, they, they're, they're a part of a project that Blake has to build a new society. Doubt is fled in clouds of reason, dark disputes and artful teasing. So that now that we have this image of uh, new truth, uh, truth being born, all doubt is gone and the clouds of reason, the, the, the sort of false reasoning that you get, this cloudy reasoning, this false logic, these dark disputes and artful teasing, they've all gone. They've all gone. Folly is an endless maze. You know, that um, being foolish, it, 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 reasoning too much, thinking too much in a way, is um, it's an endless maze that you'll never get out of. You'll, you'll always be stuck in. Tangled roots perplex our ways. How many have fallen there? You know, people get tangled up in their thoughts too much, their logical thoughts. So Blake was very much against um, solving things through logic. He felt that it was the imagination, it's the poetic imagination that would solve things. Visions would solve things. Visions of how things could be. Um, poetry and painting and music were the way forward, okay? But they weren't necessarily sort of um, simple answers. Um, they're more sort of feelings and um, attitudes um, that were solutions, not uh, kind of logical ones. Um, how many have fallen there? They stumble all night over the bones of the dead. Um, this is a quote from the Bible, um, from John chapter 11, line 9 and 10, and um, the first book of John. Uh, chapter 2, lines 10 and 11. Um, so we have uh, the people who've been trapped in the re world of reasoning, they, they're stumbling over the bones of the dead. This is the world of death that they're indulging in. We saw this in Terza, didn't we? The people who believe in selfishness, people who uh, don't believe in the imagination, um, are living in a world of death. Uh, and I think that's an, an important thing that um, Blake develops, doesn't he, in London and in the human abstract, in the, gar the Garden of Love. All of these poems showing a sort of form of mental death goes on uh, when you uh, believe in false authority, false logic. Um, and he's talking about that there. And feel they know not what but care. They don't know anything but misery and anxiety. Um, 
and wish to lead others when they should be led. And, and these people think they know the answers. These are the priests with black gowns in the Garden of Love who think they know the answers, don't they? With their kind of false logic, their false God, their false religion. They uh, are, but they're binding your joys and desires with briars. You know, you're tangling you up in a kind of world of false reasoning and shame. Um, so, uh, and they, they think they know the answer, they should, they're kind of leaders often in society, but they are not, um, they're not, they should be led by the voice of the bard, they should be led by the poetic imagination. Um, it's an uh, interesting poem, it's sort of an irregular sort of rhythm to it, um, and a kind of quite a calm um, rhythmic feel to it. It has a kind of authority, doesn't it? And we've got that powerful rhyme, dead and led, emphasising the fact that these people need to be led by a new way of thinking, a new poetic way of thinking, a way of thinking Blake has been trying to promote in the Songs of Experience and Innocence. The voice of the bard. Delight.